milestone in our lives, sailing forward through the pandemic, continuing to help others in whatever way we can. At syempre, mga kaibigan, we would like to thank each and every one of you for taking time to celebrate with us uh, today and making this occasion truly memorable for all of us through Uh, the 35 years, di ba? Siyempre, 35 years na, imagine, 35 years na po ang DOST STII. Siyempre, gusto kong marinig naman yung uh, siguro sabay-sabay na lang tayo sumigaw ng yehey! Kaya ba? Okay, ready? Yehey! Parang mahina eh. Isa pa. One, two, three. Yehey! Alright, so isang mga lang naman. Palakpakan naman natin ang bawat isa. 35 years at syempre maraming maraming salamat, salamat sa lahat ng mga naging uh, kawanis ng SII sa loob ng 35 taon. At syempre po, ang tema natin this year sa ating celebration ay pinahinog ng panahon, pinalakas ng mga hamon sa loob ng 35 taon. Ako po si Jel Miranda, your host for today. And of course, we are thrilled also to have our distinguished guests and partners gracing our event. So just sit back and relax and of course, let us enjoy today's festivities. But of course, let us not forget the one person we should thank no other than the man at the helm of STII. Ayan, siguro kilalang kilala naman natin lahat ito. Nakarating po tayo sa puntong ito ng ating anibersaryo dahil din po sa kanyang pagpupunyagi at mahusay na pamumuno. Ito walang duda, may magandang boses. Ewan ko lang kung may kukontra pa dito. Magandang lalaki. Ayan, totoo ba yun? Alright, <laughs> hindi may tatanggi. Mapakagandang lalaki, napakabae talagang. Iba yung dedication and passion nito. Mga kaibigan, kinagagal ako pong ipakilala. Walang iba, Director Richard P. Burgos. Thank you, Jel. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat and happy anniversary to DOST STII. I have a hoarse voice, very hoarse voice. There's a polyp that's developing on my vocal cord. So, hindi ko alam kung matatapos ko itong speech ko na to. Kung hindi ko siya matatapos, I will ask one of you to volunteer to read the rest of the text. Okay ba yun? So, welcome to all of you to our 35th anniversary celebration. It is muted as demanded by the times, but it is no less exuberant. And we are all excited because we can meet face to face at last, hindi ba? In a town hall meeting like this. Pwede ba tayong pumalakpak? Woo! Pambihirang pagkakataon. Almost two years to the day when everything shut down. And now, we can see each other again, right? And become one team in one celebration. Now, every anniversary and every milestone is an inflection point from which to give thanks, diba? And also to recognize the vital contributions of everyone else. At dahil tayo sa DOST STII ay pinahinog ng panahon at pinalakas ng mga hamon sa loob ng 35 taon 
ay lalo pa nating paigtingin ang ating taus-pusong pasasalamat. Firstly, let me thank Secretary Boy for being the face and voice of science for the people. He just sent a picture of him He's still working at ASTI. He still has a, pack, a big package of uh, documents to sign. But he says, I will come. Start and go ahead. Ganun po siya, kakumitid sa atin. And I recall, it was on August 22, 2016, during his first MANCO meeting as DOST secretary, when SecBoy asked us, ano bang ibig sabihin ng hugot na yan? Hindi ko maintindihan yan. Naalibadbaran ako niyan. Right? So, for me and for us at DOST, it was the signal that moving forward, science communication should take a different path and a more urgent channel to reach the younger millennial demographic. So, it was in the same meeting that I articulated, bakit hindi natin gamitin ang hashtag science for the people? Alam mo, science for the people distills, crystallizes the mandate of DOST. And it so happens that the initials for science for the people, SFTP, are the same initials as Secretary Fortunato Tanseco de la Peña. Alam mo, when I raised it, approved without thinking. Right? Until today, it has been a rallying cry. And if you search Facebook, more than 12,000 people have been using the hashtag since then. Hindi po siya masama. And it is a signal that yes, we're doing things differently. <clears throat> so, a sec boy winds up his term kasi by July, alam niya, he will be saying goodbye to us. Nakikita ko na si sec boy hugotero na rin pala. Diba? And I really want to honor him for his all-out support to DOST, STII and our initiatives that we have espoused since then. Now, of course, I really would like to thank also our very supportive supervising undersecretary, Yusek Rene Sulidum, for guiding us gently but firmly along the way with his own brand of humor that made especially our radio show such a very enjoyable experience. As well, let me thank Yusek Ruena Guevara for a focused drive to promote R&D in the country, and for Yusek Sancho Maborang, our ever-reliable partner in deploying to the regions our Starbucks kiosks and other initiatives. Of course, I will not miss <clears throat> this opportunity to thank all my predecessors, the people who were at one point or another at the helm of DOST, STII. Okay. <clears throat> First, there was Dr. Joe Guerrero. Siya po talaga yung face and voice of STII nung araw. Okay. And then he was out for a while, so let's see Dr. Irene Amores. Okay, was our OIC. Now these two pillars have already passed on. So let's say a prayer for them. Then we had other officials serve as OIC at DOST, STII. Dr. Yusek Carol Yorobe. Of course, Yusek Fortunato de la Peña, at the time Yusek siya, nag-OIC rin sa atin. We also had ASEC Maribel Karag Dario from the Presidential Management Staff. And more recently, Asik Raymond Liboro. 
So thank you to all of them because DOSTSTI would not be today what it is without their contributions in building up the institution. Let me also thank our partners and our media friends, okay? Those who are attending here physically as well as virtually. They have extended and complemented our capabilities with their services, technologies, and resources. So we are able to do more. They helped us win because they believed in winning and they are themselves winners by their own right. This celebration is for you as well. Let us ask all our partners and media friends to please rise and be recognized. All our sponsors, our donors, please rise. All right? Our partners of the National Library, okay, from Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated. Our partners from the Civil Service Commission. All right? Our partners from uh, Front Learners, yes, they provide us their content and enriched Starbucks. Thank you very much. And it goes without saying that today I want to thank each one in Team DOST STII. From our division heads down to our security and maintenance staff. I recall during the very first town hall meeting I organized when I assumed office in March of 2016, I defined clearly my role as that of a driver of the bus that is DOST STII. Driver lang po ako. Pero ang trabaho ko is to ensure that all seats are taken by the right people and that all passengers have one destination in mind. We are all going to the same direction. Well, through the challenges, especially of the pandemic, our bus was able to navigate the rough roads and speed up closer to our destination. Thank you to all the brave and dedicated men and women of DOSTSDII. Please rise and be recognized. Lahat ng taga SDII, tumayo kayo. Thank you, you may sit down, all right? Sabi na ng taga-UP Diliman ni Library, paano nyo nagawa ito? Mag-celebrate kayo in a five-star hotel? Sabi ko, tanungin ang aming FAD chief. Ganyan po sila, mga magician po yan, all right? But it is so good to see all of you here, all right? All dressed up for the occasion. Parang nagbago ang mga anyo ninyo. Again, another applause for all the brave men and women of DOST. <clears throat> well, most of all, I would like to say a prayer of thanks to God Almighty, the source of life and death and health also in between. And it's also the source of every good thing that we enjoy, including the fineries of this venue. Because he has allowed us to survive the pandemic and to gather here today, let us to him give the loud loudest applause.
Just imagine, I caught the COVID-19 bug in April last year, just as the second surge of infections quickly snapped up healthcare facilities and medicines all over the country. Thanks to my smartphone and uh, support of family, friends, and colleagues, also from DOSTSTII, I got hospital admission, ambulance service, the expert services of a medical team led by, guess what, my very good friend, son, who is an infectious disease specialist at Makati Med, unplanned Latian. But they all came together just in time. So despite makeshift initial accommodations at the hospital, my bilateral pneumonia was arrested, and in six days, I walked out of the facility, and wonder of wonders, I did not have to pay a single peso. Now, I cannot imagine how that could have happened without the power of instantaneously, to instantaneously communicate with people that you needed to contact on multiple platforms, enabled by technology and the kindness of the universe. The pandemic may still be ongoing, but we are certainly much better off today than in facing the health crisis than, let us say, a hundred years ago during the time of the Spanish flu. Similarly, <clears throat> despite the lengthening pandemic restrictions, DOSTSTII in 2021 continued to pivot, to perform, and to excel. And like the eagles, we flew high. We rose on the winds that brought the storm. We passed our ISO accreditation with no nonconformities and six best practices. The DOST Internal Audit Service gave us the highest rating among the 25 DOST agencies it assessed until then. And as per IAS Director Maria Teresa de Guzman, STII was able to leverage its strength in communication in setting a strong tone at the top and effectively cascading this to the entire organization. In communicating science for the people, we were able to generate 37,558 news stories last year. And this is up 110% from the previous year. This was valued at 13.6 billion pesos. You see the value we created. And this is more than double from the year previous at 6.6 .6 billion pesos. Ang liit po ng budget natin. But the value we create is so much, so much more. On social media, we had 4,621 posts. This is up 386% year on year. Amid, and this extended our reach to 30 million people. This is up 435 percent from 2020. The online reach of DOS TV, digital broadcasts, exceeded 76.2 million, representing an increase of 78 percent over the previous year. Okay? So, the DOST report, which we can call the Secretary's Hour, has become the go-to platform for our media friends to get the freshest angles and sound bites for their articles, stories, and reports on various platforms. CNC Cut, our science show on CNN, increased our average viewership per minute to as much as 107,000 people 
compared to 83,000 when it initially aired on GMA News TV in 2019. It was also able to achieve an audience reach of 869,000 for its afternoon slot. Ang dami kaya noon. Di ba? Whereas before, wala naman nakakarinig about the OST. But now, we have channels that are effective in reaching out to them. So our show has generated an advertising value of 169 million pesos and media pickups, reports, and other platforms valued at 17.9 million pesos. Meanwhile, Starbucks, the other big ticket program of DOSTSTII, last year it was installed in 449 new sites despite continuing travel and mass gathering restrictions brought about by the pandemic. Starbucks continues to hold its coveted spot in NEDA's National Priority Plan, and since 2017, it has generated a total of 12.8 million pesos in donations to the program. Okay. For its part, DOS TV also saw its inclusion in the National Priority Plan and generated 7.4 million pesos worth of donations in four years, including not one, but two Hyundai vans in 2021. <laughs> Maraming salamat to Hyundai. They are with us today. The OSD SDII also saw its achievements breaking ground in a number of fields in 2021. An article originally published in the first quarter issue of the SNT Post was awarded the best special feature in the 43rd Catholic Mass Media Awards. Right? And it's a story about a Filipino scientist in this pandemic. Thank you, Alistair, and to the people of SNT Post. The 18th Philippine Quill Awards cited Starbucks for its excellence in government communications programs. Thank you, Starbucks. More importantly, in 2021, the Institute earned the Bronze Award Maturity Level 2 from the Civil Service Commission. This is a major step in its constant drive toward excellence in human resources management. And we somehow broke a record of sorts because the CSC resolution came out just one month after our assessment. Maraming salamat talaga, Director Marga Reyes. All of these accomplishments are at the back of sound financial management with 97% OBUR and 91% DIBUR. Despite our limited budget, we landed among the DOST agencies with best financial management records for 2021. <clears throat> Consequently, all of these achievements contributed to raising the national awareness level of science, technology, and innovation to 24.5%. Why is that number significant? Because it is more than four times what it was when we started in 2017. It was only 6%. Before that, we did not even have a metric to ensure we know exactly where the target is and how much more we have to work to achieve it. All right? So, in all of these experiences in the year 2021, I can say with confidence and gladness in my heart that the eagle rises above every storm. 
And what it does is it uses the wind to lift it higher. It rises on the winds of adversities in the same way DOST as the idea in the two years of the pandemic. And for us, the winds that constantly lift us remain to be our mandates, our vision and mission, our core values, and the people who are willing to ride the storms amid individual crises, limitations, and difficulties. So, join me in saluting the men and women of DOSTSAI who made our pivot to success a seamless process. Together, we fly high. Let us all celebrate our flight together toward the future of our vision. Ipanalo na natin ito. Salamat. Salamat po.